हेलो वेलकम टू अरविंद सिंह अकेडमी कैसे हो बच्चों टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पोलिनोमियल्स दिस इज द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस पोलिनोमियल टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग पोलिनोमियल इट मे टेक टू थ्री फोर डेज आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी डेज इट विल टेक बट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टूडे पोलिनोमियल and in polynomials uh, for class 9 it is just introductory chapter because uh, this chapter is also in class 10th so here is an introductory session and introductory knowledge about the polynomial and we are looking for polynomial how to deal with but uh, first we have to uh, introduce this topic and then uh, the sufficient knowledge about this topic will be given to you in this class so let us start this topic what is polynomial so first thing is that polynomial is what and how to deal with uh, situations of polynomial so what is polynomial that we have to understand first and uh, thereafter we will discuss some more thing about the polynomial and that is how to deal with polynomial and what all about so here let me explain this what is polynomial polynomial is polynomial right polynomial the term itself describe about the nature of things that poly means many nominal means term an expression an algebraic expression algebraic expression in which many term in which many terms is called polynomial is called polynomials 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 so many terms and uh, definitely uh, the general form of polynomial is then uh, the general form of polynomial <laughs> the general of form of polynomial polynomial is uh, describe as p for polynomial and x x is a variable so that is called polynomial in x and that is what a not x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus a2 x to the power n minus 2 like this up to a n this is a general equation of polynomial you can deal with uh, this is a general expression and that is described as polynomial in x what is that that is described as polynomial in x x is a variable is polynomial in x uh, where is uh, px is polynomial in x polynomial in x and a not what is that a not a1 a2 up to a n are all constants coefficient of terms coefficient of different terms different terms called constants called constants right these are constants why different terms i have word use word different terms because there is a different power in each term here power of x is n here power is x n minus 1 and uh, there is x minus n minus 2 so these are different terms like x cube and x square are different they cannot be added together right now they can be or x is all are different for example these are different so if you want to write the addition of this then uh, x cube plus x square plus x can be only written but uh, it cannot be at like 3x square plus 5x square is equal to 8x square this can be possible if and only if there is a like terms these are like terms then only it is possible unlike terms cannot be added like this so they can be added like this okay so here are different terms uh, one thing must be clear that you should understand it that x q is entirely different than x square and then x similarly here if powers are different powers are n minus n 
n minus 1, n minus 2 and similarly n minus 3 up to this. Here uh, power of x is absent that is considered to be 0. So power decreasing from n to 0, x to the power 0 here only constant term is there. As uh, you have seen here that there is a number of terms, uh, so many terms are there and that is why this is called polynomial. So many, many terms are there and many cannot be a specific. It can be 1, it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be 4, it can be 5. So depending upon the number of terms, polynomial can be divided in following type. So types of polynomials depending upon number of terms. Types of polynomial. Polynomial depending upon number of terms. You should understand it that how many polynomials are there. So first one is constant polynomial. A constant polynomial a px is equal to a n, a n or c or k or anything where there is no x. x is absent, k is any constant or c is any constant. Anything can be written that is a constant term without x is called constant polynomial is called constant polynomial or zero polynomial, zero polynomial. Zero polynomial uh, depending upon degree, degree is zero, they are zero polynomial. This is called zero polynomial, zero polynomial because here number of terms is only one and that is constant term. So here called zero polynomial that is called uh, since degree of since degree of terms degree of variable is zero variable is what x and what is x power is there zero variable is zero so that is why this is called zero polynomial so the first is zero polynomial I have written here zero polynomial that is this is called zero polynomial. But simultaneously, there is only one term is there, no other terms are there and that is why this is also called monomials, right now. So monomials are there, are types of polynomials on the basis of degree and on the basis of terms. So first I am going to discuss about the basic of basis of degree, zero polynomial. But first let me clear that what is degree, what do you understand by degree of polynomial? So degree is the highest power of polynomial. For example, here this is called polynomial of degree n because highest power is n. So degree of polynomial is highest power present in polynomials. Right now, let me write first degree of the polynomial. Then I will write this definition again. But uh, first I should divide it degree of polynomial. And uh, let me write this and thereafter I will uh, write it again. Don't worry degree of polynomial what is degree degree of polynomial right and uh, what is that so degree of polynomial is the highest power highest power of variable of variable present in present in polynomial polynomial is called degree of polynomial is called degree of polynomial degree of polynomial for example if i am writing here x square plus 3x plus 1 is a polynomial of degree uh, 2 is a polynomial of degree 2 is a polynomial polynomial of degree 2 because highest power is 2 here. If I am writing here that 3x cube plus 5 is a polynomial of degree 3. Polynomial of degree 3. Like this. So uh, here the highest power is 3. Similarly, if someone write x4 plus 3x square minus 1. Here a highest power is 4 is a polynomial of degree 4 polynomial of degree 4 right degree 4 
and similarly if uh, there is a return like uh, 3x plus 1 like this so there is a polynomial of polynomial of degree degree what degree 1 because highest power of x is 1 but if there is a 5 return say is a polynomial of polynomial of degree 0 right now degree 0 why 0 because power of highest power of x present in this one is 0 so that is why now it is clear i hope so you understand it why this is called zero polynomial so zero polynomial is a polynomial in which degree is zero now let me write this one that uh, types of polynomial uh, on the basis of degree so types of polynomials types of polynomials and the first one is on the basis of degree right now on basis of degree so here the first one is called zero polynomial zero polynomial a polynomial of degree zero is called zero polynomial a polynomial of degree zero degree zero is called zero polynomial is called zero polynomial polynomial right it's called zero polynomial that is only a polynomial having only constant term polynomial having constant term only. has constant term only. constant term only called zero polynomial only that is example um, you can say 3k 2 5k plus 1 etc all are zero polynomial because here is variable is absent k is constant where k is any constant k is not variable k is constant where k is constant right now so that is zero polynomial now thereafter we have linear polynomial there are second type of polynomial is called linear polynomial linear polynomial is what Linear polynomial, a polynomial of degree 1, a polynomial of degree 1 is called, degree 1 is called linear polynomial, linear polynomial, <coughs> right, for example, uh, px is equal to polynomial in x is divide describe as 3x plus 1 or uh, this is a linear polynomial or polynomial of this like 5x only so that is also a linear polynomial here maximum power of x is 1 only so that is why this is described as linear polynomial the third one is quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial polynomial right now quadratic polynomial so what is that a polynomial of degree 2 polynomial of degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial degree 2 is called quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial note down this polynomial you will uh, understood it uh, in future also when you will revise so note down them for example uh, i can write px is equal to x square plus one that is a quadratic polynomial px is described as 3x square plus 5x plus one that is uh, highest power of x is two so that is why it is called quadratic polynomial now the fourth one is cubic polynomial what is that cubic cubic polynomial that is cubic power is 3 cubic polynomial polynomial and that is described as here what a polynomial of degree 3 of course you understood it polynomial of degree 3 is called cubic polynomial right a polynomial 
of degree three three is called cubic polynomial cubic polynomial that is p x is equal to power is three whatever the number of terms may be three x cube plus five x square plus seven x plus one or even simply p x is equal to seven x cube only one term is there but still it is a cubic polynomial or 7x cube plus 1 then also it is a cubic polynomial we have to see the highest power only nothing else right now the next one is <coughs> bi quadratic polynomial bi quadratic polynomial right so a polynomial of degree 4 A polynomial of degree 4 is called biquadratic polynomial. Called biquadratic quadratic polynomial. Right? Biquadratic polynomial. Like uh, px is equal to 4x cube plus 7x square. 4x4 right plus 7x square plus 9 like this or px is equal to written like ax4 plus bx cube plus cx square plus dx plus e like that these are all bi quadratic polynomial because the highest power of x is 4 so i hope you understood this how to uh, divide polynomial in different terms you will see here that power of each and every terms power of each and every terms is an integral numbers power 4 3 2 1 never you have seen that power anywhere is 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 like that so polynomial is described only with integral powers it cannot be described in terms of fractions polynomial will be described if and only if the powers are integral numbers not fractional powers so here you must write one note that a polynomial a polynomial polynomial is described if polynomial is described if it is described in sorry polynomial is described in only integral power polynomial is described in only integral power of variable integral power of variable powers of variable right integral powers of variable with positive numbers positive coefficient positive coefficient sorry integral powers integral positive powers let me write here in more specific positive powers you should write here integral positive powers of for example if I will write here that uh, px is equal to or a if I'll write if I'll write like 3x to the power half plus 1 or uh, root x plus 5 or uh, even x to the power 3 by 2 plus 7 or x plus 1 by x etc are not polynomials are not polynomials these are not polynomials remember this why these are not polynomials because powers are powers are here in fraction this is fraction there is fraction and there is negative powers are not polynomials polynomials why because power cannot be fraction or negative powers so i hope you understood this right now
and whenever there is a requirement of uh, finding polynomials that whether they are polynomials or not you will use this information okay so now let us solve some questions on the basis of the knowledge what we have acquired till now we can use uh, this knowledge to find uh, polynomials whether they are polynomials or not or even we can solve some questions on the basis of this but uh, one thing all uh, so you need to remember if i'm writing here that 3x square plus 5x plus 7 2x cube plus 7 5x4 9x cube plus x minus 1 are polynomial etc are polynomials a polynomials are and what are those these are called coefficients here 3 is called coefficients of x square 5 is called coefficient of x and 7 is called constant term right now so there is no x that is called constant term so here constant term is 7 in this expression also constant term is 7 in this expression constant term is 0 no constant term don't think that 5 is a constant term 5 is a coefficient of x to the power 4 right and here constant term is minus 1 so constant term is an independent of x there is no x in constant term remember this so let us solve some questions of the exercise which is given to you and thereafter i uh, will give you some new knowledge about it so the exercise which first uh, given to exercise 2.1 and we are going to solve it in this question they are uh, uh, writing here that uh, which of the following expression which of the following expression following expression are polynomials are polynomials polynomials that we have to recognize that which are of the following variables in one variable in one variable one variable means only either x will be there or y will be there or s will be there or t will be there or some variable will be there but only one variable not more than one variable and which are not and which are not right state the region of your answer state the region of your answer region of your answer right now so this is what the question <coughs> now the very first question in this one is given here that 4x square minus 3x plus 7. Yes, this is a polynomial, isn't it? And a polynomial in one variable because there is only one variable. Yes, this is solution will be yes, this is polynomial. This is polynomial. Polynomial. Right now. As it is in a standard form. Polynomial in form of px is equal to 4x square ax square plus bx plus c like this px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c ax square plus bx plus c in this form this is a polynomial the standard form of quadratic polynomial so in this form is there and therefore it is a quadratic polynomial so you will just write answer yes but because it is given that I state the region and that is why I have written like this the second one is given y square plus root 2 so y square power is linear is a polynomial as well why this is polynomial you can see that power of 2 is 1 by 2 that is root 2 uh, what I said uh, that the powers of this will be variable should not be equal to powers of variable should not be equal to uh, negative polynomial is described only it have negative positive powers of variable it has only positive powers of variable not the constant constant can have anything here constant can be anything 
and constant can be uh, <coughs> any power even negative power or fractional power or whatever so here this is the polynomial and this polynomial has only power of variable y is variable root 2 is constant so this is a polynomial of the form of the form px is equal to ax square plus bx plus c so that is why this is called also polynomial and this is a quadratic polynomial now the third question is given here <coughs> you will see that the third question is given that uh, 3 root t plus t root 2 here power variable is t so this is a polynomial in t so not polynomial it is not polynomial polynomial why because since t is variable and power of t power of t is 1 by 2 1 by 2 in root t <coughs> so therefore it is not polynomial right now the next question is fourth one and fourth one is what that y plus 2 by y y plus 2 by y is also not polynomial is not polynomial y since power of y is minus 1 here power of y here power of y power of y is minus 1 in term 2 by y and therefore it is not polynomial right now now the next question is there is question number 5 right and 5 question is there and that is given here x to the power 10 plus y to the power 3 plus t to the power 50 is a polynomial but polynomial but not in one variable but not in one variable here one variable is a polynomial but not in one variable here y x y and t are three variables three variables so that is why this is not a polynomial in one variable right so these are some questions and i hope you understood it how to deal with these questions and why this one someone is some polynomial is described and some of them which is given here is not described now next question moving to the question number two and question two is write the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square in each of the following in each of the following following right coefficient of x square in each of the following and the first one is <coughs> 2 plus x square plus 6. What is the coefficient here? Will you tell me? x square coefficient is 1. Here coefficient of x square is 1. Coefficient of x square is 1. Because there is no coefficient. So that is why we will say 1. In second question, they have uh, given here that 2 minus x square plus x cube here the coefficient of x square is what coefficient of x square is minus 1 isn't it now the third one is third part of the question which is given here that uh, pi by 2 x square plus x in that way coefficient of x square here coefficient of x square <coughs> coefficient means multiplier coefficient of x square is pi by 2 so except x square everything is considered to be coefficient you know that is what and next question is uh, given that under root 2 x minus 1 under root 2 is coefficient of x but there is no term of x square so here coefficient of x square coefficient of x square because x square is absent so we can say 0 
because that can be described as <coughs> 0 into x square plus root 2 into x minus 1. So here coefficient of x square is 0. I hope you got it. Okay. So these are few questions and uh, that you should understand right now. One more question I would like to take here. That is question number 3. And what is that question? Try to understand. Give one example each of the binomial. Give one example each of binomial of degree binomial of degree degree 35 and a polynomial of degree 10 and a monomial monomial of degree degree 100 binomial and monomial what are these this is the other classification of polynomials monomials mono means only one so monomials means a polynomial which has only one term so here the solution will be solution will be uh, we have to write binomial binomial means there are two terms so we can write x to the power 35 plus 1 that is a binomial of there are two terms it can be 3x to the power 35 plus 7x right now 7 it can be 5x to the power 35 minus 9 it can be 7x to the power 35 minus 15x because there are also two terms so two terms that is called binomial and degree must be highest power degree is what degree is highest power of polynomial so that is why we will write highest power must be 35 degree of 35 so we will write polynomial of degree of 35 35 <coughs> right now so that is why we can write like and a monomial is all r etc r binomial of any one of them can be written you have to one example i have given four example binomial of degree 35 right now the next one is monomial that is having only one term so of degree 100 that is x to the power 100 5x to the power 100 7 by 2x to the power 100 root 2x to the power 100 etc all are <coughs> all are monomials of monomials of degree 100 so you can write only one of them i have written four here also but uh, there can be infinite a number of answers can be there so if you will see that uh, your answer should match it answer given in books then it won't be because here will be a number of answers will be there infinite means not countable you know so anything can be i have written four answers you can pick any one of them or you can write your answer own but what is the condition that it must be only one term monomial means only one term uh, and power must be 100 we will discuss detail of all these classification in next session but uh, uh, today i'm just saying that monomials means the polynomial in each only one term and binomial means which uh, they have two terms now the fourth question is there and they are asking about write the degree of write the degree of <coughs> write the degree of each of the following of each of the following polynomial following polynomial and you know what is degree remember degree is the highest power polynomials right so we will write here uh, the first question was 5x cube plus 4x square plus 7x what is the highest power tell me tell me what is the highest power in this the degree is 3 highest power is 3 so degree is 3 in second question if i am writing here that uh, it is given 4 minus y square what is the highest power here 2 so degree y is variable degree is 2 
In third question, uh, they are asking about degree that is 5t minus root 7. Root 7 and 5 are constant, t is only variable and power of t is 1. So, degree is 1. <coughs> and fourth question that is given here 3. 3 is what? 3 is given and 3 has there is no variable. So, degree is what? That is considered to be 0. So, degree is 0. I hope you got it. Now, the next question they are giving here uh, that classify, classify fifth question is given classify, classify the following, the following as linear, linear, quadratic, quadratic and cubic polynomial and cubic polynomial cubic polynomials right uh, this was given so how to deal with this <clears throat> first question was given x square plus x what is highest power since 2 and therefore power is highest power is 2 so degree of 2 and degree of 2 is quadratic polynomial is a quadratic polynomial quadratic polynomial and why because highest power of this is 2 polynomial as degree of degree of polynomial is polynomial is 2 polynomial degree of polynomial is 2 and therefore it is called quadratic polynomial now the next question is given here and that was given here that uh, x minus x cube is a cubic polynomial is a cubic polynomial cubic polynomial as degree of degree of polynomial is 3 polynomial is 3 right because highest power is 3 similarly the next question was 3 third question and what is that Third question was 1 plus x is a polynomial, is a monom, is a linear polynomial, linear polynomial, linear polynomial, why? As degree of, degree of polynomial is 1, polynomial is 1, so that is why it is called linear polynomial. Now the next one is fourth. And what is that? Try to understand. Fourth one is this only. Third one is, sorry, third one is y plus y square plus 4. This was fourth and this is third. So, this is third and this one was fourth. Okay. So, this is a what? This is a... <coughs> A quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial, polynomial, why? Since degree of this polynomial is 2, highest power is 2, as degree of polynomial is 2, polynomial is 2, right? Now, the fourth one is, fourth one, and what is that? <coughs> Fourth one is already I have written here. Fifth one. Now the fifth one is fifth one. And what is that? 3t. Only one term. Is a polynomial of degree 1. Polynomial of degree 1. Degree 1. Hence is a linear polynomial. Linear polynomial. Right now, I hope you got it. Now, the next six question is there. <coughs> and sixth question is given as R square. R square is a polynomial of polynomial of degree 2 and degree 2, hence quadratic polynomial. Hence quadratic polynomial. 
quadratic polynomial right and the seventh one one more question was there seventh one and what is that seventh one is 7x cube since power of highest power is 3 so it is a cubic polynomial it is a polynomial of degree polynomial of degree 3 hence it is cubic polynomial cubic polynomial i hope you got it this is very simple and easy one so definitely you will be able to understood each and everything and this one and what is the degree of polynomial that basically you have to understand and uh, quadratic polynomial linear polynomial cubic polynomial what are the coefficients of polynomial that each and everything is being explained here and i hope you understand well in the next class we will see and we will discuss some more about the polynomials right now so till then god bless keep watching and uh, please subscribe this channel and also share among your friends so that they will be also equally benefited and if you want to uh, buy a complete course uh, in which uh, along with video there are some study materials class notes test everything is there so you can uh, download our app mobisala and uh, enter the institute code arsa2020 and uh, enjoy learnings if you want to contact us, uh, you may call us on numbers double nine triple nine zero six four double zero or mail us at our wincing academy at the rate of gmail.com. <coughs> Even you can visit our uh, Facebook page, um, our wincing academy right now and ASA uh, www.facebook.com slash our wincing academy. So you will uh, contact us uh, through any of the channel and uh, you can have opportunity to uh, build up your foundation uh, because you are in class 9th and this is a time in which you can build up your foundation for preparation of JE, uh, NEET or any other examinations uh, to build up your career future. So please uh, think about this and uh, till that now um, this is all about in this class. I hope you have enjoyed it and God bless you. Keep watching and uh, be happy.